press conference was a great start, but I want to keep the momentum up for Portofino. Okay, we're already getting calls from the Italian designers. Of course, they want to know what designs Eric plans to show against Rich. Everybody's going to be watching. We have to show them that Forrester Creations is still number one. Everything has to be perfect, has to be glamorous, it has to exceed everybody's expectations. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. The people we've been working with over in Italy have been fantastic. They've already suggested the most amazing locations for the show. For instance, take a look at this. It could be on the water. Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful places in the world. So is your department ready for this, Josh? Oh, yes, Miss Logan. Most of Mr. Forrester's designs are ready to go. Robin is modeling his latest. You know, he wanted me to get your opinion whether or not to use this as one of the final six. It's good, but it's not one of my favorite, so I would stick with the others. Are you ready for your flight tonight? <laughs> All set. Okay, once I'm there, I'll make sure everything is ready for when you and Mr. Farster arrive. Great. Thank you. Well, you better get going. I'm sure you have a lot to deal with before your flight. But if you have any questions, please feel free to call. Oh, will do. Okay. Thanks, Miss Logan. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Megan, can you stay, please? Oh, yeah, of course. Actually, we need to go over the statement we're going to release for the Italian press, and I think that... <sighs> Brooke, is something wrong? Hello, hello. What? Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Sally. <laughs> to what away all the honor of this visit? Have you come to uh, scope out the competition? Maybe getting a little worried that uh, Spectre Fashions might overtake Forrester Creations, leave them in the dust? No, I just came to see Ridge, not to sneak a peek at his designs. <laughs> well, you're too late. Ridge is a dining. He's already left. A dinner, La Familia. Oh. Oh, well, in that case, I'll leave you with your delusions of grandeur and go see if he needs help with dinner. That won't be necessary. Mm -hmm. I think it's all being catered by one of the most fascinating and talented chefs on the international scene. You're dying to know who it is, aren't you? Mm, yeah, certainly. <laughs> well, I'm dying to tell you, so here goes. Ridge and the children will be dining with Master Chef Massimo Marrone. Oh. Hmm. You know, Thomas, if my grandmother could see the way you cleaned up your plate, hmm. She would be so proud of you. It was great. Mm. Good. Was well, pretty good. It's hard to believe my boss, the tycoon over here, is, knows his way around the kitchen. Well, my repertoire is very limited, but I always thought it was wise to be able to make one decent meal. Now, who would like a cannoli? What's that? You don't know what a cannoli is? No. Oh, boy, I can see I have a lot to teach you before you go to Portofino. Do you know about Portofino? No, at all, boy. I practically grew up there. See, I used to visit my grandmother there every summer. What's it like? Well, it's a beautiful little village, and it has some of the most beautiful villas that stretch all the way from the water all the way up to the top of the hill. Would you like to go on a sailboat? I might be afraid. Oh, no, no, no. You're not going to be afraid. Not if I'm the captain. And you? You're going to come too? Do I have to? Absolutely. You will absolutely love it. Wait till you see the water in the afternoon, how it sparkles. It's like, it's like diamonds. Really? Mm-hmm. Really. And the sea is so blue. I mean, it's bluer than you can possibly imagine. It's like, it's like uh, turquoise. It's magical. Wow. I can't wait to go. Me too. Thomas, 
You wait till I tell you all about the different ships you're gonna see. See, in Portofino, you have to have a boat. There's no other way to get around. When I was a kid, I used to go to the harbor every day, and my friends and I would race. Didn't make any difference what we would race, even if it was a half a canoe. Bro, come on, just tell me what's wrong. Oh my God, it's Deacon, isn't it? I'm terrified he wants to destroy me and my family. This note during the press conference, and it said to, it said meet me down in the steam room, and I, I thought it might be Ridge. But I went down there. It turns out the deacon was waiting there for me. And I, I was really scared, Megan. What did he do? He was just taunting me and making disgusting insinuations. Oh my God, Brooke, that's why I was trying to find you at the press conference. I ran into him at Las Olas, and you're right, he was really out of control. I don't understand what he wants. When he left here, he said he wanted me to get my life back together. He wanted me to reconnect with Bridget. Well, he's probably so drunk right now, he doesn't know what he wants. He knows what it would do to my life if the truth got out. And what about Bridget? If the whole world finds out that I slept with her husband and had his baby, and, and hope she'd be in the middle of some media frenzy. And what about Ridge? My God, what would he think? He would be horrified. Brooke. Look, I know you didn't want to do this, but I think you need to tell Bridget that Deacon is here, that he's making threats, because that way she'll be able to prepare. No, no, I can't do that to her. I, I'm not going to let her get hurt again by all of this. Well, then what are you going to do? I don't know. I don't know. I, and there's no time to think. I mean, that's probably Josh right now, waiting to ask me last-minute questions. Hello? Hey, baby. You know, in honor of your trip, I got something for you. Come on, you just cooked our dinner. You've entertained us. You don't need to do anything else. I want to. I found these one summer outside of Portofino, and I want you each to have one. See? They are from the Roman Empire. Huh? Okay, now, Thomas, this one here has a picture of a warship on it, just like the Romans when they approached Portofino, just the same way you're gonna do. A warship? Cool. Right? Okay. Phoebe, this one here, has a picture of a beautiful lady, right? Mm. Who was probably visiting Portofino just like you're gonna do. Mm. <laughs> right? Yes, yes. And Steffi, for you, I have one that has a picture of a castle on it, just like the castles that we're gonna see in Italy. A real castle, like in a fairy tale? Exactly like that. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. You have no idea what your children mean to me. No idea. You weren't exactly expecting that little social tidbit, were you? A cozy dinner party with Massimo at the head of the table? Well, no, I wasn't, but, you know, I'm not surprised. He's a very loving man. Yes, he is. And those kids love him. They especially love his stories, and <laughs> he adores them. Interesting about a man like Massimo, you know? He's traveled to the four corners of the globe. He's amassed a fortune. He's got all the power and influence anyone could want, and he still feels a little empty inside. That is very interesting, what it takes to fill that emptiness. He has a big heart. Mm. 
He just needed people to love. Yes, and he loves those children. And that's what makes it so difficult for him to continue feeling like an outsider. I know. I know he's trying so hard to build a relationship with his son and his grandchildren, and it's, you know, just never going to go as far as he would like it to. But spending this time together is wonderful for him, for all of them. <clears throat> well, you are so very welcome. All right, everybody. This has been fun, but it's time to get to bed. Oh, don't forget to thank Mr. Maroney for dinner and for the gifts. Thank you, Mr. Maroney. Thank you, Mr. No, no, Maroney. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Don't call me that. That's too formal. What should we call you, then? <sighs> Anything you like. Anything? Uh, except one thing. What? You know that funny lady with all the red hair that works for your father? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Okay. She's got a crazy name for me. You don't want to call me that. What's the name? Now you've done it. Come on. Please. Mojo. <laughs> Mojo? Yeah. <laughs> What's it mean, though? It means that she thinks that Massimo is a very cool guy. I think he's cool, so maybe I should call him that, too. <laughs> Me, too. No, 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 anything but that. But before you said we could call you anything, you can't go back on your word. Yeah. Uh -huh. They've got you there, don't they? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the coin, Mojo. <laughs> Thank you for the present, Mojo. <laughs> Thanks for the dinner, Mojo. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's still time for bed here. Come on. You're coming up, right, Bridget? Oh, yeah, I'll be right up as soon as you get into your PJs and brush your teeth. Oh, yeah, okay. Of course, honey. Don't worry about a thing. I'll be right up. Hey, don't forget to say thank you to Mojo for the dinner. Thanks, Mojo. Thanks, Mojo. <laughs> Good night, Thanks. Mojo. Thanks, Mojo. <laughs> Come on. What have I done? Deacon. Are you surprised to hear from me? Yes. Brooke, you looked unbelievable the other day. Look, Deacon, I need to see you. Oh, somehow I figured you'd come around. You can't come here. No, 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 no. Stop right there, right? I don't jump through hoops for you anymore. You don't tell me how it's going to be. Ma'am, if you want to see me, you're going to have to bring yourself down to my motel. No. Well, I guess there's always next time in there. Uh, all right. All right. I, I will come down to your motel. That's a good little girl. Where are you staying? Okay. Got it. I'll see you soon. You can't go to him. You cannot go to his motel. You don't Megan, know what he's I don't have any other choice. You know, you are pretty good with Thomas and the girls. As are you. <laughs> yeah, well, they've known me their whole lives. And I am virtually a stranger. Still, you've completely won them over. Oh. I simply want to help. You have. I just, I think it's so amazing how everyone's rallied around Ridge. You and, and Dad, Stephanie, my mother. Your mother? Your mother has no intention of helping this family. She is strictly out for herself, which is why I will not stand for her having any part in those children's lives. I don't know if you've heard, but it is now official. Massimo Maroni will be attending the festivities with us 
in Portofino, which means he will see Spectra take over from Forrester. That is the fashion coup heard round the world. Oh, well, I'm, I'm delighted that he's going to be there. But you're not going to win. I beg to differ with you. Oh. I know how to win, honey. I'm an old horse player. I have played the tracks all over this country and beyond. I know how to pick a winner. I do, and I think this time Spectra is gonna be the winner. All the pundits agree. Spectra's always been a game little horse, you know, but she had a problem. She would always come out the uh, starting gate maybe 10 seconds too late and lose it by a nose to Forrester. Well, all that is changing now, so get ready for it. We are the odds on favorite. All the smart money is on Spectra. This tough little horse is gonna do it this time. We are gonna win in Portofino, and we are gonna go even higher, higher and higher, top of the world, led by that brilliant jockey, your son, Ridge Forrester. Well, I trust Eric's talent. I don't know, Stephanie. Ridge's designs show genius. <laughs> well, that's because he learned everything from Eric. Oh, well, that's interesting. Would you care to put your money where your mouth is, huh? A bet against my own son? No! Oh, come on. It wouldn't be a bet against your son. It would be a bet for your husband. How about it? Come on, come on. hundred bucks. It's nothing. Or were you just bluffing about Eric? Sally, it's enough for me that Ridge is even competing. I know that. But he wants to win. Come on. Take a flyer. hundred bucks. Just to make it interesting. <laughs> mm. You never change, do you? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Now you are beginning to sound like someone who is afraid to make a wager. Is that true? Or is it simply because it was your son that put Spectra back on top in this game again? Or is it possible you are unhappy because for once Forrester is not the only horse in the race? I just don't want to take your money. Why not? I'm rich. I can afford it. <laughs> and I certainly know you could afford to pay me when you lose. <laughs> this is a sucker's bet, yeah. Sally. Don't be a sucker. <laughs> come on, come on. Take a flyer. A thousand dollars if it'll keep you quiet. Yes! I love it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? You of all people should know that Brooke has no place in those children's lives or Ridges. What my mother did to me is in the past. I can't understand how you can say that. Well, you don't have to understand. My relationship with my mother is none of your business. And as for her and Ridge, they're adults. And if she wants to help out an old friend, I really don't see what's so wrong with that. Those children are not adults. And your mother shouldn't be allowed anywhere near them. She would never hurt them. Oh, the way she promised that she would never hurt you. And then chased after that low life that you were married to. Deacon is gone. He is out of my life and he's out of my mother's life. And neither one of us ever has to see or speak to him again. another word. I am not going to live my life like this. There will be no more drunken come-ons, no more threats. You made a deal. You leaving my life forever. And so help me God, you're going to keep your end of the bargain. 